Welcome back to the August Commissioner's Corner. Again, I'm Scott. This is Elizabeth, Tamara, and Josh, your three county commissioners. Uh, so segment two, again, as I had said in the, the closing of the last, uh, we would have hoped that in August of 2021, we maybe could have dispensed with any more uh, updates or information related to the pandemic and COVID-19, but that is just not the reality. Mm -hmm. And so Elizabeth and I, who have been uh, partners in this effort uh, from the beginning, from uh, the governor's press conference on March the 5th, I think, 2020, uh, 2020. Uh, I'm going to turn it over to her and let her talk a little bit about where we are now. Well, certainly, Scott, you set the stage. August of 2021, we are unfortunately still talking about this. We did have a bit of a break and relief, but a word that we didn't use in 2020 was Delta, and now we're using that all the time. So um, unfortunately, there is the Delta variant that's out there, and we know in Summit County, a lot of our cases are the Delta variant, and we're continuing to see that. We're also um, continuing to see uh, case numbers that have uh, really risen over since 4th of July, pretty much. We've had a lot of positive cases. We have had some breakthrough cases, folks that are vaccinated. Luckily, those breakthrough cases are uh, very mild symptoms and um, often asymptomatic. Maybe they had a known exposure from somewhere else or they're getting weekly testing through their job, uh, something like that. So we still encourage get vaccinated. Uh, I do want to say I'm really proud of some accounts at our uh, about 80% vaccination rate and how just tremendous that is. Our county has really stepped up. We know we can do more, um, especially in some certain categories, that 20 to 29 year old age range. I can't tell you, I hear over and over again, especially from restaurant owners that are telling me, I cannot get my workers from 20 to 29 to go get vaccinated and that is certainly something that um, we want to address and we want to make happen and we encourage because it's important as we're already seeing struggles across the county but restaurants having to close due to not having enough employees it's really critical that our workforce stay healthy and be able to serve the um, volume, the number of guests that we have coming into Summit County right now um, with that. We do believe that um, with this new variant, and we have a lot of guests coming from unvaccinated or states with high unvaccination rates or low vaccination rates, I guess is what you would say. Um, that's probably contributing to our spread here in Summit County. Um, we are the most visited place in the state of Colorado recently, uh, this summer, as well as the fifth busiest in the entire United States. That is huge. And so having all those folks with Delta spreading, uh, we also know that Delta is twice as contagious as mm -hmm. the old COVID. And so that's another thing. I mean, it's um, double the contagion and what we really want to encourage is personal responsibility. Um, wearing masks, especially in public places. Uh, we, as of this day, we are August the 9th. We have not done a mandate yet. Um, we get asked that question. I know you guys are getting asked it all the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can't leave our house without constantly being asked, when is the mask mandate coming? So instead, what we would ask is, if you own a business, you're welcome to put a mask mandate in place. Um, yourself, you're welcome to wear a mask when you go in public places and when you're interacting with children. Children, um, because let's remember if you're 11 and under you can't get vaccinated and we've got to do what we can to protect those kids so they can go back to school full-time which is certainly important but it's just really urging that personal responsibility piece and business and organization responsibility if you feel and i have to say um kudos some of our arts organizations are really moving in the direction of doing that um i have a meeting later today about some arts organizations in breckenridge and if they're going to require masks i recently um or vaccines i saw that lake dillon theater required vaccination and i certainly think that that's the way we're going to start seeing things going and we applaud that because it's really standing up and doing the right thing and what is right. Um, we often get questions about school districts and what's going to happen with kids. It is in place currently for kids 2 to 11 to wear a mask in school.
school. And that's if they're at a day camp right now or in a school setting. So that will continue when school starts next week. Um, we are waiting on an announcement from the school district sometime this week regarding ages 12 and up and what they will need to do um, for school. Certainly, they're probably looking at their vaccination rates of kids and things like that. But again, our goal is to keep kids in school full time, five days a week. Um, all of us here are parents and parent of a school teacher, and uh, we've all struggled last year um, with being in and out of the classroom and the difficulties with that. And so let's remember um, our kids in school is an economic driver for our community. When our kids are in school, our parents can go to work. And that is a really, really important thing. And um, I would ask if you care about small businesses in this community, do what you can um, to stop the spread of COVID to keep our kids in school. Absolutely. Yeah. Josh, tomorrow, anything to add? Yeah, you know, Elizabeth, everything that you just said is really in line with the data and what the CDC guidance is recommending. Um, Right now, we know that the recommendation is that for every 50 out of 100,000 cases to be masked indoors, even for folks that are vaccinated. And here in Summit County, because of the case increases that we've seen over the last few weeks, we are well above that benchmark. And so we want to do what we can to follow the science, follow the data, uh, and again, protect the vulnerable populations that you're talking about. Our kiddos cannot be vaccinated. Our frontline workers are, are interacting with folks every day that are coming from places all over the United States. And we really want to do what we can to protect our small businesses and our workforce and of course our kids. So um, any of the policies that will continue to uh, roll out on the, at the Summit County level, um, we'll certainly continue to look at the data and that's gonna guide the decision making as we move out of the summer and into the fall. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, we're at the point in this where we need to learn to live with it. Um, despite our best uh, efforts as a community to get ourselves vaccinated, um, the upside and the downside of being a tourist economy is that we have so many people come to visit us. And the best way that each of us can protect ourselves, our small businesses, and our community is to get vaccinated, encourage those around you to get vaccinated. When you're sick, stay home and get a test and then wear your mask. Um, but it's about personal responsibility at this phase um, in the pandemic. And so I would just offer my plea um, to all of you to help us um, help each other and help our community by committing to those three things. Uh, and I'll just make one other comment uh, with regards to the Delta variant. So again, going into uh, the summer season, we didn't have uh, that on our radar really as a, yeah. as a huge concern. It has clearly swept through uh, the country and the state mm -hmm. and, and the county. And now I think the number is somewhere around 93, 95% of cases are now the Delta variant. It is, as Elizabeth said, uh, far more contagious. Uh, it's also um, impacting younger people to a much greater degree than the yeah. original uh, COVID-19 virus. And so it's important for folks to understand that this is a little different situation that we're in. Um, and it, it goes to this idea of, well, if you're in a situation where you feel like you might have had some close contacts, take the step to go get tested. Isolate yourself if you're having symptoms. Don't go to work if you're not feeling well. Uh, wear a mask when you're involved in, in larger indoor public gatherings, those sorts of things. Follow that CDC guidance. And so hopefully if, if we take those steps, then we can uh, maybe get through this uh, phase of the virus more uh, quickly and without uh, any significant sort of economic repercussions uh, within the community. So, uh, so thanks for, for all of that. Yeah. All right, so we're going to take a quick break. Uh, we're going to come back, and uh, a topic that is near and dear to everybody, the United States Postal Service, <laughs> uh, will lead off that topic. So there's my uh, cliffhanger segue. Uh, so stick with us. Oh, boy.